These look like jumbo size adult Fruit Loops. Hey Busy Bees! We made it through the month being healthy and eating well, so I decided it's time to give us a little treat. Today, I'm making three fruity baked donuts that are all to die for, and since they're baked, they're not as guilty, right? The first one I'm making is a strawberry baked donut with the beautiful strawberry pink glaze. The second one is a blueberry donut with a hint of Earl Grey in the cake. And finally, a light and refreshing lemon donut. Be sure to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe. If you guys want to see more daily cooking activities, check me out on Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with our baked strawberry donut. First, I'll start with my dry ingredients. In a bowl, I'm adding in one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I'll just whisk it all together. Let it mix. Perfect. Now for my wet ingredients. I'll start with half a cup of buttermilk. I've got a great trick on how you can make your own DIY buttermilk so you don't have to buy a whole carton just for this recipe. For every cup of buttermilk called, all you need is one cup of milk plus one tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar. Pour it in, let it sit for a few minutes to sour and curdle, and voila, you have buttermilk. Two thirds of a cup of neutral oil. Neutral oil is a flavorless and odorless cooking oil like canola or vegetable. I love using avocado oil, which is what I used in here, but another really great option, which is not really neutral but tastes delicious in this recipe, is coconut oil. One egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'll just mix that all together. Do 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 do. Perfect. Now I'll just combine my wet ingredients with my dry ingredients and just gently mix everything together. Mix, 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 mix. All right, now I have a quarter cup of finely chopped strawberries that I'll add in towards the end, give it a final mix, and we're done with the batter. The batter was so easy to make, right? Now I just have to pipe it into my donut pan. I'll line my cup with a piping bag and I'll fill it up with the batter. Close it up. And I snipped off the tip. But before I fill it, I need to grease the pan just to make sure nothing sticks. Now I'll just pipe my batter three quarters of the way full and bake it at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Like this. Mm -mm -mm. I'll let it cool for about five minutes and then I'll transfer them to my cooling rack. While the donuts cool completely, I'm gonna work on my strawberry glaze. For the glaze, I'm looking for a very viscous consistency. In my mini food processor, I'm adding in three strawberries that I've already quartered. I'll puree them, making sure they're nice and blended up. Now, in a bowl, I have two and a quarter cups of powdered sugar. I'll add in my pureed strawberries and a tablespoon of milk to start. For me, I like adding a little bit of milk at a time so that I can control the consistency of the glaze. If I add in too much milk, it'll thin it out too much. But if that happens to you, just dump in more powdered sugar. Mix it all together. And as it starts to thicken up, I'm gonna add in another tablespoon of milk. Mix, mix, mix. And to get the perfect consistency, I'm just gonna add a little bit more milk. I want it to be kind of lava-like, like this. Still very thick though. Now that my donuts have cooled completely, it's time to dip. I'll take a baked donut and I'll dunk it into the glaze. And voila, the glaze is nice and thick so it coats the whole thing perfectly. The pastel pink color is perfect, but if you guys like a more darker pink color, just add in an extra strawberry and then decrease the amount of milk that you put in. I'll let the excess drip on the cooling rack, and then I'll just let the glaze firm up on the rack. And I'll just dunk and repeat the rest. Donuts make me so happy, and I love that it's pink and it has all these little strawberry speckles on them. It feels so springy, but let's give it a try. The donuts are so light and flavorful, and I really love that the bits of strawberries give it so much flavor. You guys have to try this one. All right, the next one we're making is a blueberry donut with a hint of 
Earl Grey. All right, to start off with our next one, in a bowl, I'm adding half a cup of buttermilk, a third cup of neutral oil, one egg, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'll mix it together, perfect. Then I'll work on my dry ingredients. In a bowl, I'm gonna add in one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one whole bag of Earl Grey tea, this will add so much flavor and color to our donuts, and half a cup of sugar. I'll mix it all together, and then I'll add in my wet ingredients. I'll give it a good mix. See how gently I'm mixing it? Just be sure not to overmix the batter because you don't want the donuts to be tough. Perfect. I'll line my cup with a piping bag, fill it with my batter, close it up, prep my pan, and I'll pipe the donuts three quarters of the way full. Done. Now I'll bake them at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. They'll get nice and golden brown like this. Mmm. While they're cooling, I'm gonna work on my glaze. I have a third cup of fresh blueberries that I'll just puree in my mini food processor. Oh, it makes such a beautiful dark blue color, I love it. Now I'll add my blueberries into two and a quarter cups of powdered sugar with one tablespoon of milk. For this glaze, I didn't need to add more milk because the blueberries were already liquidy enough. Mix it together. Now I'll take a cool donut and I'll dunk it into that blueberry glaze. Mmm, 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 mm, perfect coating. Gorgeous. Now I'll do the rest of them. Do, 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 do. Look at that perfect purple hue from the blueberries. Ah. Mm. The Earl Grey Donuts complements and really brings out the flavor of the blueberries. I think this is one of my favorite combinations. All right, our last one is a light and refreshing citrusy donut, our lemon donut. All right, for our wet ingredients, in a bowl, I'm adding in half a cup of buttermilk, which I've already showed you guys how to make, half a cup of neutral oil, one egg, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'll mix it all together, and that's our wet ingredients. For our dry ingredients, I have one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour that I'll add to a bowl, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a cup of granulated sugar, and I'll just mix it all together. Now I'll add in the wet ingredients into our dry ingredients, and to give it that lemony, fresh flavor, I'm gonna add the zest of a whole lemon. This is gonna perfume our donuts and give it that yummy freshness. The lemon zest here will really help to flavor the batter. You don't wanna add lemon juice because it can make the donuts gummy. I'll gently mix everything until the batter forms, and I'm done. Then I'll fill my piping bag with the batter. All right, now I'll prep my pan so nothing sticks. Now it's time to pipe these babies in. And I'll bake them at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes until they puff up and they're nice and golden brown, like this. All right, while they're cooling completely, I'm gonna make my glaze. I have two cups of powdered sugar. I'll add in the juice of half a lemon. I'm holding my hands out to catch any seeds, but one fell through, so I'll get that out. One tablespoon of milk, just give it a good mix. Needs a little bit more milk, so I'll add another tablespoon. Mix, mix, mix. And to give it a pretty pastel yellow color, I'll add in one or two drops of yellow food coloring, just to make sure everyone knows this is lemon. Once the donuts have cooled completely, I'll just take a donut, dunk it into the glaze, and voila! Let it dry off on the cooling rack, and I'll finish the rest. Before the glaze dries completely, I'm gonna add in some white sprinkles, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And they look super pretty too. Isn't this so cute? I love the yellow glaze with the little white sprinkles. Actually, this is perfect for a gender neutral baby shower. Ha <laughs> ha. lemon donut was amazing. The lemon zest really perfumed our batter, and then the lemon juice on the glaze really just gave it that nice tang. Oh, I love that one too. 
All right, you guys, I hope you loved all three of the fruity donuts, but that's not all. I have other donut videos, including a matcha and a chocolate one if you're interested. I'll leave a link below and then I'll leave it on the end card too. Which one would you guys make and what other donut flavors do you guys love? Be sure to comment below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.